Before we begin, I just want to say that this commentary is not going to prove every single person involved with the FCK situation is innocent of every accusation against them. I mention this because whenever you question the credibility of any of the people making these claims, they assume you are saying they literally hacked into Discord's mainframe to frame people for no reason because those are the same claims, I guess. On the topic of people who don't know what's actually being claimed, let's talk about Akumu. You see, Akumu uploaded a video yesterday called Lio Convoy Can't Stop Lying, Liar Convoy, where he talks about a section of Lio Convoy's video on the conundrum, as well as a Senate call that happened on February 28th, 2024. The video has more than a couple of problems. Now, fair is fair to Akumu. Covering a Discord call is much harder than covering, say, a video where somebody talks to a microphone. Conversations are dynamic in ways that just talking aren't, for example. In the same regard, the people who you are covering are more likely to make wording slip-ups or just not phrase themselves the best because they're talking completely impromptu as opposed to with a script like many commentators do or even in a highly edited format. What I'm saying is, although this is not Uncharted Waters, it is notably more difficult to commentate on Discord calls than it is what people normally commentate on. Off the top of my head, if you want to see an example of superfluous material being left in a video, well, there's this part, but before I play it, I want to note that just before this clip, we hear this incredibly obvious jump cut in audio. And so far, the only person who I think we have reasonable uh, belief is guilty is Toasty. Is, do you disagree oh, with me on that, why Lyo yelled at them. Yeah, you hear how at the beginning of the clip I'm saying that the only person I had seen evidence was guilty beyond a reasonable doubt was Toasty. And I'm not saying he's the only one who is guilty for the record. I'm just saying he's the only one I had seen evidence for at that moment. And then there's a cut and then I'm talking about Lyo yelling at somebody. Now, I know why that happened because there were several minutes in between that point that Akumu completely cut out where we had changed the topic. Anyway, there's about a minute and a half more before Akumu interjects. However, the only part that's actually important is the fact that Lyo said this. So when I have to respond to this and point out that these people are pathologically lying. And what was Akumu's response to this? It's a little ironic after several days now and after literally lying to people in the call, you want to talk about how someone else is a pathological liar. It's no wonder why the Art CC loves you so much. You do the delusional LARPy shit. You're inconsistent when it comes to accountability. Your standards suddenly change when it comes to the people you like. And you have no fucking self-awareness. He literally just goes, it's funny you complain about lying when you've lied yourself. A point that, and I cannot stress this enough, added nothing to the video and was not worth the build-up. However, this is not the part of the video I most wanted to talk about. That would be this part. Can this I is just a concerted say, effort. Go ahead, Can I? Well, I just have to say, it appears to be an absolutely amazing coincidence that all of the bad people in this situation are all people Akumu didn't already like. Well, how about you mention why I don't like them, Ephraim? I don't know, getting together in a group, dogpiling me, falsely accusing me of trying to dox, accusing me of deleting tweets I never deleted to make it look like I was malicious, photoshopping evidence against me, constantly making videos about me, spying on me, but if I spied on them, it was harassment, making fun of me, but if I made fun of them, it was harassment. This list can keep going. Why don't you mention any of that? You're going to notice a common thing with people like this, from the Art CC and the SCC. They like to talk about how I dislike these people and how I talk about these people, but they never ever mention why. Maybe because it doesn't actually hold any relevance to what I said. All I did was point out that all of the people you were criticizing here were people you already expressed a dislike of. If said dislike was justified isn't important, for reasons I'll explain a little bit more in a second. But first, Akumu then follows up with this. The screenshots are there. The logs are public, Ephraim. Go ahead, point out what I faked in my video. I'm waiting for you. I tweeted to you about this. Point out what is photoshopped and faked in my video. What is falsely claimed in my video. I'm waiting for it. Okay, first off, that's not what you tweeted at me about. That was in reference to me saying that the screenshots you showed in one of your videos did not back up what you said. Something which I did say... 
also, I did watch that video. The screenshots he shows don't actually prove a single thing he said. Uh, he just hoped you didn't notice that. While talking about your commentary on Lyo's conundrum video, given that was the topic of discussion since that was what Lyo was asked about. Did you see uh, Akuma's response video to your end portion of the conundrum video? Meanwhile, the clip where I point out how all the people Akumu criticized are people he already didn't like was talking about the situation regarding the FCK Discord server. Also, what was that part about me claiming you faked logs? I didn't say that. I just said that all the people you criticized were people you already didn't like. And you know that's what I meant because we talked about it in DMs slightly before this video came out. You see, the same day the call occurred, Akumu messaged me the following. Currently watching the call with Senate and the copium is crazy. Would love to chat about your ridiculous claims. Particularly you pushing this notion I wanted accountability from Peaches and your is it just a coincidence they're all people Akumu doesn't like as if I'm making it out to be that way when the logs are now publicly available. Go ahead, show me where I faked something. I'll even take you through a personal tour of the server myself to show you all of it. He also sent me this gif of a cat raising its eyebrows. I then replied with the following. I don't recall saying the first thing, albeit I might have miscommunicated what I intended. Basically, I was trying to make the point that you were attempting to claim Peaches failed to take accountability for the situation beforehand because she failed to post a Twitter thread before that point. I might have phrased this sloppily, and for that I do admit fault. As for the coincidence comment, I wasn't implying you were faking anything. That is an implication you added. Instead, I was pointing out that it was important to remember we need to remain skeptical about this situation because many of the loudest voices are arguing against people who they already have a bias against exclusively. Akumu's reply was, You make a fair point at the end, but I'm gonna send a voice message. It's such a fair point, you apparently forgot I made it. Good night, and good luck.